Okay, hello again. I have three lovely packages here. These all came at different times, um, but they're all very related to each other. So I hung on to these two and cracked them up a little bit just to make sure that they arrive. They seem to have arrived at, in good shape at first brush. Um, and this is the last one that arrived today. But first, we have a cute thing to show. Is this little hedgehog? He is made out of quartz. He's kind of flat. He's got derpy little eyes. <laughs> and his nose kind of goes swoop. And his feet are cute. They're like squares and they got little toesies. <laughs> He's very cute. He's our new friend. What's his name? Um. Um. She hasn't thought that far ahead. He just arrived yesterday. But he's very cute. I wanted to show him off. And he's sparkly, so he's related to the channel. <laughs> so he's going to hang out over here. We'll post a link to where he came from down in the description. Don't judge us too hard. <laughs> yeah, it's from a uh, crystal healing supplier person. We don't cotton by that kind of thing. But he was cute, so therefore he came home. <laughs> it took, took a while to show up, didn't it? Like a couple, a couple weeks? weeks. Yeah. It shipped from China. Oh, okay, that's, that's probably why. Because it probably came same service as these. But, um, hopefully my pants are showing in the frame. <laughs> they are Christmas decorated cacti. There's one wearing, there's a tall one wearing a Santa hat. The pot of one of these says Feliz Navidad. <laughs> I'm going to slide my leg into frame. <laughs> Draw me like one of your Christmas leg girls. What? I mean, I didn't say that. What? <laughs> yeah. Slide that back into position. Okay. We're still good. So hopefully that showed up. Uh, they came from Old Navy last year around Christmas time. They're actually men's, for the record, if you're trying to find them. But anyway, apropos of nothing. I found Christmas cards. And, that, and, only, and not just only a couple of Christmas cards. Where's the end? There it is. See, Gwenny, you're not the only one that's bad at this. Alright. So to start with, we have crystal ones. We have one, two, three, four sets of beads. Typical drill, typical toolkit, cheap baggies, just a one placer, tiny bit of wax tray with no cutout on it. Here, you hold those. <laughs> I'm putting him to work. And then we have the cards themselves. We have a Santa, says Merry Christmas, it's all rainbowy down here. And we have bells. We have a Rudolph, his nose is red. I can see some red behind his nose. Hopefully I'm showing enough angles, at least something has no glare. And a Christmas tree. But not only are these crystal, they also have special diamonds. Because if you look close at these and you've done any, any special diamond ones before, you'll notice that some dots are bigger than others, like this one with the, wet, with the red minus sign across it is bigger than these little blue dots and these little red dots all around it. There's some star shaped ones. These are suspiciously teardrop shaped. These are like pointy oblong ones, teardrop, or cat's eye. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> You'd think that would come to me quicker than that, but hey. So just as an example, I'm going to open up. This is the bell one. You have a teeny tiny little key with all the little symbols on it. These symbols remind me a lot of the ones on the drag queen owl and the... Uh, circus elephant. So if you work those fine, you'll be, do fine with this. This one happens to be HK011. Here we have the the um what's the word I'm looking for? Well, I keep trying to, I, I keep coming up with fluorescent and luminescent, but I keep, those are not the words I'm looking for. Iridescent? That's the word. Thank you, wife. You should cut out that long pause. Eh. 
<laughs> we'll see. Um, yeah, th th these have like the iridescent quality to them. There's three of them. And I imagine, well, there might, is there more? Yes, there's more. There, oh, these are, okay, so there's three of the teardrop ones that go down here on top of these red spots. It doesn't fill this whole white section because they're not big enough, but it does cover the red. I can just lay that right there like that. And then these are the pretty much the same, the cat eye shape ones. And those fit nicely right on top of there. And then we have more beads here. We got some tiny stars and a few tiny little round stragglers in there that don't belong in there. Got some bigger kind of pink iridescent color. Some standard white, blue, yellow, and red over here. Some standard pink over here. Uh, these are just numbered. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These bags have eight and nine on them. Uh, this has got a little bit of Russian as well on it. Um, and then it says HK11 on all of these bags. Um, just to indicate that it goes with this design. Uh, these two do not have that, however. So, got to make sure to keep these where they belong. See, there's one extra teardrop one. And there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these guys. But you only need six. So there's a couple extras in case chaos ensues. Which if you're anything like me, chaos will ensue. My wife is very used to hearing me randomly start cursing and like start <laughs> clearing stuff off of myself because my hand shook for no reason and dump, I dumped drills all over myself, the couch, and the floor in front of me. The vacuum's been getting a workout. Yeah, it sounds like popcorn when it runs. <laughs> but yeah, we have... Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve is Santa Claus. Uh, these came from Angel's Hand. Um, they, they're, they're not just sold by Angel's Hand. I don't see their name on this anywhere. Um, so if you have, I know some people have issue with Angel Hand, Angel's Hands product, but I'm pretty sure they're just reselling these. Uh, when I made this order, I went out of my way. I basically added a half dozen, dozen versions of all of these packages to my cart at once. And just went through and eliminated things highest price out first. And so I came down with the cheapest one I could find. Because they are all the same. It's not like they're different chartings of the different things, different drills. I mean, these are all going to be the same stuff. So this is what the back, the main pretty parts look like. This is what the insides are. This one is super cute. Raccoon and little penguin friend. And two little owl friends. Look at those. Look at that. Aww. These are like three very cute critters here. It says, Happy New Year and a little gingerbread man. Merry Christmas. And same here. Basically, the, this whole side is the same on both. And these two have the have snowman. These two have the good friends on a sledding adventure. And they also have plain white envelopes. Plenty big enough. Because once you, once you stick these, it'll take up a little bit more space in the envelope. And this cardstock is fairly serious. It's probably, this is sturdier cardstock than most cards I see at the store. This is like the kind of card you'd find on the back of like an action figure from back in the day or something. That, that's what, kind of what this cardboard weight reminds me of. Like there'll just be the bubble of plastic on the front. This is like Kenner up here and Luke Skywalker's in there or something. But that's that one. I'm very excited. I knew I knew these were going to be crystal, but I didn't know there's going to be special shaped ones. There's some teeny stars in here. These are gonna be good fun to work. I'll probably do stick with me's on these. 
All right, first one down. And actually, I'll do this one next. Grab my skeezers. These all arrived within a week of each other. Um, I ordered them all on the same day. I think, yeah. Um, September 29th is when I ordered these, and they just arrived today, October the 26th. These people have seen before. Uh, I know Ella had them, and I think Brandy had them as well. I guess I'll move this out of the way. Here, hold that. No. I just put it on her legs. <laughs> Our hedgy friend is being helpful, so you should be helpful too. Okay. <laughs> Here, he's going to be helpful again. Uh, the same kit as the other one. Probably a few fewer bags, but... Uh, this one came from a place they don't, don't seem to do diamond painting exclusively. It's called Take Wealth Boutique Store. Um, they do all kinds of various stuff. They have two storefronts with the same name. Um, but this was just, again, the cheapest place I found these. I got these for $12.59. I was seeing these upwards of $20. And if you're paying $4.50 for each of these eight cards individually, you're getting robbed. <laughs> so we have seven, eight, six, five, four, three. Two and one. These are just standard uh, round drills, and they're all in those red baggies. Um, I do not see. Well, some of these have DMC codes on them, but some of them do not. Actually, I lied. Only one of them does. That's number six. Ooh, these got a little banged up in shipping. Same envelopes as the other ones. These might have the same manufacturers. Ooh, yeah, these got a little, um, abused. Look at that. Ooh, that's bad. Yeah. But no, nothing some big heavy books can't cure, I don't think. But yeah, people have seen these. These are fairly common around. We got Santa Claus. Have a Magical Christmas. I think this one's my favorite. It's a Christmas unicorn. How many Christmas unicorns you've seen in your life? <laughs> Got another Santa Claus. This one says ho, ho, ho. Um, on this one, you actually do the Merry Christmas in diamond painting and the tree. But this one, he's just saying ho, ho, ho. Um, got a, a snowman. I think there's actually a larger version of this that that's around. I think I've seen some people get it off Amazon. Or Actually, no, I think... Gwenny just got a, like a four pack from Amazon and this was in there. Or was that Brandy? That was Brandy. I lied. Sorry. And those two were stuffed together for unknown reasons. Something sticky on this one. Um, it's a very happy, cute little Rudolph. You don't, you do not stick his eyes or his horns. Just the lights on his horns, him, his hat, he's got a scarf on. And Merry Christmas below. Got Santa and more reindeer. Santa and another Rudolph, I should say. A sack. And Santa and the sack are two different colors. And I hope you can see her being naughty down there. What's she doing? Chewing on plastic. Aww. She can do it under supervision. And we have a tiny little snowman over there. And then we have some bells with holly and a little red bow. And then the insides are, are, are all strangely vertical, but they seem to be fairly similar to each other. And again, these are sticking to, to each other. I don't like that.
So yeah, um, as you can see, these didn't have any packing additional to keep them stiff, no extra cardboard. But then the other ones didn't either. That I just I literally just cut that package open to make sure what was in there what was supposed to be in there. It all looked intact. So then I just set it aside to do the rest in front of you guys. So um, yeah, this is not cool. And it's not like these were crammed into my mailbox because I have your typical steel apartment mailboxes. These were he actually brought this up the stairs, rang our buzzer, scared the dickens out of our cat because she's scared of the buzzer. Because she's dumb. And uh, this was sitting this was sitting on the floor on the on the landing when I by the time I got to it. So. Sometimes they'll wait for us to get up and answer the door. Sometimes they won't. But probably depends on who it is and how much other stuff he's got. Kitty, kitty, kitty. So, yeah, nothing, nothing I, you know, these, kitty, 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 kitty. these are pretty drills. And they look like they're good quality. I don't see, like, any garbage in them. Kitty, 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 kitty. My wife is trying to coax the cat up next to her. But all she hears is crinkles. You should lure her onto that table. <laughs> right, I got a little shred of plastic here. <laughs> Doing a guest appearance. <laughs> Go on. Come on up here. Your public awaits. <laughs> She's done, I guess. She looked like she was going to jump, but she didn't. Yeah. Are you going to come from over here? No more scissors. <laughs> Just do like a whole video of playing with the cat. <laughs> no one will mind. <laughs> My lovely assistant is done assisting with this one. So this is the oddball of the group. Uh, this one came from... Wait, no, I lied. Um, that one did not come from that Take Wealth company, though they did have them as well. Oh, shit. Uh, this one came from came through Humal. The one I just opened that got screwed up. This one came from Take Wealth. And this one is kind of going to be one most people are probably not interested in just because of how it's set up, unless you have kids. It comes in this really cute box and it's marked as for three plus. And you can see a little, this is like just the printing of what's going on in here. We've got gems on Santa and the and a horse because I don't see any antlers for a reindeer. It's a Christmas horse. Yeah. <laughs> got a cool hat on but that's about it so inside here we have cards I did kind of go through this one so I know what I'm getting at because it was the least well documented of the of the three um, so we have Santa and a snowman the snowman is knitting a sock we have everyone being Christmas friends we have a bunny a, a reindeer a birdie penguin a, a, a very happy looking Christmas tree. Is that a Bob Ross Christmas tree? It's a happy little tree. Very Merry Christmas. A snowman and a reindeer being friends. You'll notice there's not a whole lot of sticking going on here. Happy Holiday with two owls. They're very patchwork looking. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. We have a snowman with a bluebird friend and a bunny friend. Gingerbread men in a basket. And we have Santa and his Christmas horse and a happy little tree. We have a snowman with fireworks. That seems like a bad plan. And he's floating on the Christmas thoughts of these houses because it's like there's a trail of bubbles that go up to this cloud. I mean, sure. 
And we have stockings over a sleigh. This, this sock has an apple in it. And then you flip them over. And these are kind of more like postcard style, which, and they don't, there's a line here, but they don't fold evenly. But I don't know if I would trust the beads. Hello. Are you here for that plastic you were promised? <laughs> um, What'd you do with it, Chris? She was promised. I didn't just cover it up with the card. <laughs> she knows. Hi, guest star. I need to keep a hand on this thing because it's not fully, it's not a normal table. So, like. She could easily tip it over. Yeah, and my foot would be in the way. Uh-oh, she found another plastic. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> she loves this hobby of yours. She does. It brings me, it brings her so many good, good plastic toys. <laughs> We're going to throw those away after the video when she's done being cute, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> I do not trust her to not swallow it. Good. She's being very good. Pressing onward. You are covering up the most important part of this video. <laughs> uh, we have a snowman, the snowman and reindeer friends, same as what's on the front. This is, yeah, basically these little pictures are the same as what's on the front. Or the back, depending on what your perspective is. <laughs> No, there's no little black cats on these. These are Christmas cards, not Halloween cards. You should have got Halloween cards. I should have. Oh, the, you kind of reminded me. Um, in the same art style as the last set that came from <laughs> Huma, <laughs> she's just getting comfortable. Um, they actually have Thanksgiving cards, which isn't my jam, and I w didn't want to pay the price they wanted for them. But I'm just going to do this. Those are hers. <laughs> but there's more underneath here. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> the guest star has uh, consider considers herself done. Underneath this little car cardboard cover is this little bundle of goodies. We have a little booklet which has um... It tells you which numbers are which colors. These are your keys for each one. And it's a picture here that shows you what it looks like when it's all finished. Um, looks like the colors all kind of stay the same. One through six, all the same colors. So I'm not sure if it's necessary to do it each individual one. But I'm, but, uh, I'm glad they did at least. Yeah, it's the same color for each card. And then, this, these are how the diamonds are. This is why I'm not 100% sure people will be super interested. It's because they're pre-stuck, they're pre-glued gems on, like, sheets of plastic. I'm going to open this up. And you can see these in the picture on the listing. But, like, I was like... They couldn't really be like that, could they? But they could, and they are. So we have green, red, light blue, pink, like an amber, and white. And a couple of these have come loose over here. One of them seems to have totally flown the coop. Oh, it's stacked over here? Yeah, it's stacked over here. So I'll stick these back down where they belong. So we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Wife, can you do nine times fourteen for me? You can cheat. You don't have to do it in your head. One hundred forty minus fourteen. Uh. One hundred twenty-six. One hundred twenty-six. Okay. I never do math on camera. But yeah, 126 gems of each color. 126 times 6. Now. Now. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> if 
it had like imaginary numbers or quaternions or whatever the heck in it, you probably would have been able to do it. No, I wouldn't. Because <laughs> you can't do them in uh, septuples. I can't do them in my head. <laughs> my wife is a math nerd, but only like the esoteric weird stuff that like no one's ever heard of unless you sit there watching Vsauce for three hours. Like you do? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> She'd heard of them before Vsauce existed, okay? <laughs> anyway, back what's to... Your, what's your favorite number? Mine is negative J. I'm making a suspicious squinty face at her. Because <laughs> there's probably some catch to that that I am unaware of. Because I have an English degree. Anyway, um, so these are interesting. Um, these are probably more for like, if you've got a handful of kids at your house for Christmas and they can make like, or maybe for Thanksgiving and they can make little cards and give them to their teacher or something. Um, but there's no envelopes that it came with. You can probably find envelopes this size pretty easily. Let's see if these will fit in the, these ones. Almost. They're a little too big for these envelopes. Uh, or if you're a paper crafty sort like Brandy, you can probably make envelopes that would fit these. Um, and assuming that whoever you send them to wouldn't mind a little hanji. Right? That's what ch kanji in China is? Hanji? I think so. Okay. Um... But yeah, aside from that, I'm having a, we're having a very early Christmas at the moment. But hey, if it's time for people in the Philippines to put their tree up, then sure, why not? Is that a thing? Yeah, and, and um, Rowana's last vlog, she mentioned that they took, she took a little break between packages to decorate the tree with her kids. You know it's pronounced vlog, right? Whatever. <laughs> Because I'm going to presume that they do not have Halloween and Thanksgiving before Christmas like we do. Anyway, we can blame the Spanish for that. Uh, well, that's it, unless someone would like to make her or make a second appearance. No? No reprise? No, oh, she, she's tackling strawberries. She, one of her favorite toys is a little catnip. Strawberry it looks like it's been dipped in chocolate. Uh, and also, uh, another reason why this isn't strictly a diamond painting kit is because it did not come with a uh, tool kit. Although I don't know where this came from. <laughs> you have to ask. Was that stuck to your foot? <laughs> like, I know my cat isn't silly enough to actually eat a drill she finds on the carpet, but occasionally we do find them in her litter. So I'm going to assume that they stick to her bare feet as much as they stick to ours. <laughs> I found them stuck to her beans. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> she probably hates it. <laughs> she probably does. <laughs> well, at any rate, that is it. Um, I fi already finished one of the uh, Diamond Shop unicorns, but I've put it with my other finishes, and that's across the room, and I don't feel like getting it. In other news, I've also finally finished uh, beating Water Blight Ganon in Breath of the Wild, so I suck at that game slightly less now. Basically, what Link looked like in the pause menu was omf, 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 constantly. Because <laughs> that's the only reason I survived, because I devoured everything. Well, not really everything, but all the useful things. But that's neither here nor there. Um, well, I'm, gonna leave, I'm going to make my third attempt to end this video. Before something else distracts me. Like that cute cat over there? Mm-hmm. Who just picked the strawberry up in her mouth and walked around the room with it a little bit. She's oh. being so precious. She's so good. Um, but yeah, so you guys just keep sticking. And I'll see you later because I have more on the way. But bye now. <laughs>
So that's the uh, cardboard insert from that box that those ones with the self-sticky gems came from. I took that insert out and I packed all the uh, drills and whatever, all the envelopes and stuff in there. So someone didn't waste any time at all. And the box doesn't close. I, I, it, the flaps will not stay tucked in. But this is cuter. She does not seem to be pleased to be filmed. So I'm going to keep doing it. Cheat lasers.